Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is day, well, it's April 3rd here in New York. I guess day 4th, April legal day, ch challenge or whatever. But here today, I am just doing a random algo problem that I haven't done before. So let's RG it. And today we get a problem, a easy problem. Yeah, okay. 2229, check if an array is consecutive. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this one. Given an integer array nums, return true if nums is consecutive, otherwise returns false. Okay. <clears throat> I see. I see what they mean. Um, I mean, there are some obvious things, right? With um, with hash tables or something like this. I'm trying to think whether I could be clever, <laughs> to be honest. I mean, this is a easy, so I don't know. But yeah, because you could play around with the min and then the max and then... And then you do the um, the duplicate number thing, but then that's a little bit awkward, maybe. I don't know. You could all, Another thing that you can do is you could do the min, you could get the min, get the max, you know, one scan, and then with that, you could re-index the number, and then do the, whatchamacallit, the permutations or the psycho sorting or whatever that we've talked about like, like two weeks ago. So there's definitely a lot of things you could do here, but uh, if you really... F feel inclined but hmm, are there any other cute ways uh i mean there's yeah i guess the, and you can also do like binary search after getting the min and the max and kind of just do counting that's but that's not again though so maybe not that one hmm. yeah hmm. yeah okay well But yeah, uh, I think I think I'm just gonna do the dumb way though, because I am lazy. So we do 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 that calendar nums right. So we put it in a thing, right? And then max is equal to max of nums, min is equal to min of nums, as we said. And then basically, <clears throat> you could scan through these, or you could just you know just do some maps, right? Um, I mean, I think you still have to scan through it just to make sure that nothing is duplicate, right? But yeah, so then like, um, if any, uh, I don't know, was it v is equal to one for v in f dot values, of, then we return false, or this is greater than one, right? Otherwise, if that means that everything here is only appeared once so no no duplicates right i just want to check whether the duplicates is actually but yeah and then now you have mx minus mn plus one is equal to the length of f then we can return true i think uh but i like to kind of just keep it early termination just in case we need to add more conditionals uh i think those two are sufficient but maybe not oh well i have to spell collections correctly though now let's let's try to give it a YOLO. Okay, there we go. This is going to be constant time. Uh, uh, no, obviously not constant time. Linear time, linear space. This is all. This is linear. This these are linear, and everything is linear. Well, I mean these are constant, but this is linear. Uh, so yeah, linear time, linear space. You can make it kind of constant extra space by, like I said, using a a, a linear sorting with with uh, what you would call it psycho sorting or permutation sorting or whatever it's called but i'm not going to do that here so yeah uh that's all i have for today i am a little bit tired so i am going to call it a day thanks for watching stay good stay healthy to your mental health i'll see you tomorrow uh, or whatever bye bye